and we're back once again for another video here out in Staten Island Airfield and you can hear the wonderful fire uh, trucks of New York City in the background hopefully it's not too distracting uh, and they'll be gone soon hopefully okay yeah, they're going away now <laughs> uh, today we're gonna do something a little different not really we're doing something exactly like we've done before we're gonna do a camera comparison and today we're gonna compare the DJI Action 2 to the DJI 03 air unit so one of the big goals with the Action 2 was to lighten up my overall quad build what better way than to completely remove the action camera to really really add lightness to one of my quads and so today I want to take a look at the O3 air unit and how it performs as effectively an action camera replacement. Honestly, I'm really hoping that that DJI Action 2 becomes a thing of the past. I would love for my lighter drones where I like to carry that DJI Action 2 to have the camera completely off the drone itself. Um, I really, really want to add more lightness, especially to my Oh My God 250 build. And I'm hoping that with this flight, I'm going to see enough uh, performance out of that O3 Air unit that I can leave the action camera behind. Overall, I'm not going to do like an A, B type of comparison to see what you prefer. Uh, blind, I am going to let you know which is which because there's no way I'm going to be able to hide the fact that you can see the frame in the O3 air unit. But I want to do this comparison so that way you can see what it looks like and decide for yourself, is it time to finally let go having an action camera on a drone that is in that lighter weight category? I think for five inch and above, there's nothing that's going to beat an external action camera. They're just more durable. They're easier to replace. The footage is going to be better. It's easier not to see the frame uh, in view of the camera. So don't think it's gonna replace an action camera on my Skyliner frame, but I am really curious to see if it's gonna replace the camera on my Oh My God 250. With that said, let's get up in the air. Let's do a, a little flight and I'm gonna do some voiceover over the video as we do this comparison. So let's get into it. See you in a second. As we take off here, we've got the DJI Action 2 in 4K60 with Rocksteady stabilization on on the left, and we have the O3 air unit on the right with 4K60, Rocksteady off. The reason I'm run running Rocksteady off on the air unit is because that is also my FPV feed, and I want to make sure that I can see movement of the quad, as well as when you run Rocksteady on the air unit, I've developed some vibration and some jello. It makes it a little harder to fly. So I tend to run it off for best results. So there is going to be a little difference in the movement of the two pieces of footage, but they are from the same quad, from the same flight. For me, the biggest difference between these two cameras is the exposure differences. And it's not that one's more underexposed and the other's more overexposed. It's that the exposure algorithm on that DJI Action 2 just has to hunt and peck for the right exposure so much more than the O3 Action which is great for the O3 action because that is your flight camera. So I would hope that it nails the exposure and consistently maintains that exposure better. But especially in these moments where you have quick transitions or snappy movements, that exposure just finds the right spot and then stays there. Where the DJI Action 2, which you'll see in a second, just struggles. As you can see here, yes, it is in silhouette, but it just wildly underexposes and then as we go under and do that little flick it overexposes and it just hunts and pecks for the right exposure constantly and it can be super frustrating when you're editing or dealing with the footage afterwards as we've discussed in previous videos but overall it is pretty impressive what DJI has managed to accomplish with that O3 air unit and it's kind of a shame that they have not upgraded that DJI action to a better firmware and a better exposure algorithm to really bring it at least up to the same performance as the O3 Action, especially considering that they have very, very similar chipsets, lenses, and camera sensors. It should also be noted that these cameras are slightly above each other. The DJI Action 2 is mounted slightly above the O3 Air unit, so they do not line up completely, but I, that's why I do include these single shots where it's just the O3 Air unit or just the DJI Action, so you can get an idea of what it looks like. 
And man, I have to say that O3 Action probably is one of the best looking FPV cameras I've ever experienced. And even the footage in hindsight, reviewing it on the computer, it looks as good. And this is the footage coming from the O3 Air unit itself. This is not the goggle feed. So it is as good and crispy and clean as it can be. Flying through sections like this, you definitely see that exposure difference. And while it's essential for flying, I think also for posting onto social and for using in your video edits, that O3 air unit footage is as good, if not better, than the DJI Action 2. And if you are using the DJI Action 2 because it is physically lighter, guess what? If you're running the O3 air unit, you don't even have to carry an action camera, so you significantly reduce the overall weight of your build and quad, which is great. I really do think this O3 air unit is probably the largest improvement uh, the camera quality that DJI could have made when it was first announced and rumored I was a little skeptical that they were kind of trying to be both an action camera and an FPV camera at the same time especially with the results of the DJI action that I've had from previous videos but I think DJI really really nailed it and I think this side-by-side -side really showcases the difference and the overall performance of the O3 air unit and why I think for me on lighter builds it is going to replace the DJI Action 2. I still don't think either are quite as good as the respective GoPros but overall I think the DJI Action 2 has been completely outclassed by the O3 air unit. And that's what the footage looks like. Uh, overall yeah <laughs> my uh, thoughts beforehand were kind of already leaning towards uh, a change in my setup. I think this is just hammered at home. I am so convinced now that the Skyliners, both of them, are now basically going to get a GoPro Hero 11 mini mount. So that way I have an external action camera on both. Uh, I think I'm going to Again, I don't know if I'm gonna sell it. I don't know if I'm gonna get rid of it. I don't know, because there is a crack on the lens. I'm gonna trade it into Best Buy. Maybe use that to get a set of goggles too. But overall, I think that the O3, uh, I almost called it the O3 Action. I think the O3 Air Unit is a phenomenal camera. It gives great results. And I do not think for a lighter build, unless you desperately can't have the props or the frame in view, I think it is plenty good enough to share on social, to use in a YouTube video. That O3 Action, can you keep calling it the O3 Action? The O3 Air unit is amazing. And so beyond that, I don't know what more to say than it's a great uh, setup. And if you have a light quad and you want some video that you can share on social, using your YouTube videos, anything like that, or you just want to reduce the weight of your quad and only carry the FPV camera, so take the action camera off completely, yeah, it, it's, it is that good. Uh, especially the onboard recording, even the goggle DVR ver, uh, video is very, very good. Uh, that increased, or uh, I guess better transmission than the original air unit makes a difference. Uh, and it is definitely a usable video, even from the goggles. Yeah. <laughs> So thank you for joining me in this video. Hopefully you found it interesting. I am on uh, Saturday, I think, because I'm gonna start switching up when I post like flight videos. On Saturday, I'm gonna post up just a straight side-by-side, -side, uh, split down the center, left O3 action, left DJ, uh, right DJI air unit. I mean, that may be backwards, but either way, I'm gonna post up a video that's just split 50-50 so you can see that direct side-by-side -side comparison and make your own choices on whether you think it is worth it now to ditch your action camera. But overall, yeah, I th I, not to put my conclusion on you, but in my opinion, the DJI Action 2 is about as good as the O3 Air unit as far as picture quality, uh, stabilization, obviously you get the, the, the uh, flight data. So actually the O3 Air unit has better stabilization because you can use it out of the box with real steady. Forgot to mention that before, yeah. Either way, thank you all for joining me in this video. As always, affiliate links down below for the O3 Air Unit and everything else I used in this video. Um, as always, like the video, subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment. Have you flown the O3 Air Unit yet? What do you think? 
and that's it. So thank you all for joining me. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.